we're getting a little taste of Christmas here. The first time I've seen anything looking like snow falling in Southern California in a long time. Very pretty. <laughs> yeah, I guess uh, that's the big year end holidays are right around the corner, so that's going to be happening soon. Hey everybody, it's your old pal Robert from ThrillRide.com. How you doing? So I'm here at the Americana Mall in Glendale, California. Uh, and you can see it's very decked out for Christmas, but I'm kind of jonesing for a little more Halloween spirit. Did not have a hugely spooky Halloween season this year. And uh, they've opened up a new store here called the Stranger Things Los Angeles Official Store. Uh, huge fan of the uh, show on Netflix. I've seen all three seasons. Really excited for the next one coming up. And uh, yeah, really excited to find out what they have on sale in there. And uh, heard a lot of good things about the cool immersive environments they've created for some of the different spaces in the store. So let's go take a look around. Definitely a lot of a uh, Christmas spirit in the air here at the Americana at Brand. Big beautiful shopping and uh, food and beverage complex here in Glendale, California. Yeah, I feel like Halloween just came and went too quick. All right, and here's what I'm here to see, the official Stranger Things store. Well, there's a face only a mother could love or a horror movie fan. And that includes me. All right, man again. <laughs> this is fantastic. Yeah, neon is always going to make me happy, so all right. Head through this portal into oh, what looks like the old living room with the Christmas lights. Yeah. One of the many great things about this whole experience is the awesome soundtrack. Obviously, it's just nonstop 80s hits, pop and rock through and through, uh, which makes for, again, a really immersive space. But it's kind of loud and uh, filled with copyrighted music. So uh, kind of shifted gears and realized it's going to have to do kind of a VO after the fact. So, uh, But anyway, looking around this uh, first space, this is a very season one heavy uh, you can see the Christmas tree lights and the alphabet on the wall that they use to communicate with Will and the Upside Down. And uh, some of the drawings of the tendrils, I guess, of what we finally learned to be the Mind Flayer. Uh, but yeah, they got shelves with uh, merchandise here, uh, all kinds of stuff on sale, but a lot of photo ops. And of course, people are very, uh, they love the uh, sit in front of the uh, Christmas lights on the sofa. And of course, this tabletop, great. You got Stephen King novels. Uh, drawing of the Mind Flayer and of course some uh, D&D uh, boards out <laughs> and uh, yeah you look around the room there's some shelves with uh, all kinds of books and I love this old school record player with the Clash Combat Rock on the disc nice very cool uh, can't, can't argue with that choice and next door there's a little uh, a selection of records including Devo and yeah never heard of that one love the video games this is so fantastic very old school 8-bit Pac-Man, Missile Command, Donkey Kong Jr., come on, that is great. Yeah, they must have had a lot of fun dressing this set, really love it. <laughs> oh yeah, and over here you got some cassette tapes, uh, Led Zeppelin, Always Strong, Rolling Stones, and uh, yeah, and here's a look at some of the merchandise uh, on some of the shelves in there. This I loved, you know, in hindsight I didn't buy it and I kind of wish I had, but they were selling the Stranger Things Season 3 soundtrack on vinyl. Uh, really loved it, especially just for the uh, kind of the cover art. It's just fantastic. Oh man, oh, I just so can't wait for season four. <laughs> but yeah, that's a pretty cool detail. Oh yeah, and right next door, love this. There's a phone that is ringing, and you pick it up, and there's some very strange, otherworldly, garbled message coming through. I couldn't quite tell if it was something you could actually decipher. Uh, again, because pretty pretty loud in the uh, in the store but very neat that they have that kind of uh, experience there. And then of course this old TV here showing retro commercials from uh, 
the early 80s. Uh, so the next space is uh, more season three focused. You get the big star court uh, neon sign over there and a really fun photo op uh, standing in front of that uh, huge diorama of the uh, mind flare with the bikes and the scary sky. Yeah, and here you got one of your sexier mannequins. I'm telling you, if, uh, if I needed to mannequin for any reason whatsoever, I'd certainly want one of these because that, that that's pretty sweet. Uh, also, some shout outs to Scoops Ahoy, the uh, ice cream parlor in the mall where some of the characters worked in uh, season three. I saw this fun little display of ice cream scoops, but I did not see the scoops for sale. I hope I missed that because that's a that seems like a lost opportunity. And lots of great merch in here too, kinds of mugs, keychains, figures, more shirts, bags, uh, lip gloss, <laughs> Bazooka Joe bubblegum, Starcourt Mall cap, that's another one I kind of wish I'd uh, grab. A lot of Pez, um, all kinds of fun stuff in here. Oh yeah, and then of course this shirt too. I, Demi Gorgon LA, that's beautiful. Uh, a lot of fun other uh, toys from franchises that have played an important role in the show, including Ghostbusters and uh, He-Man, love that kind of stuff. Benny's Burgers I had to look up. That was a location I was not familiar with. That's from season one. Uh, apparently kind of a minor stop, but we're also going to be seeing Benny's later down the road, I've heard, so that's kind of cool. And this uh, really neat greetings from Hawkins, Indiana shirt with the <laughs> Demi Corgan in the back there. I love this too. These, uh, some sort of upside down survival kits, uh, little handy selections of uh, things that'll make your stay in the upside down a little less unpleasant, I guess. Uh, but here's the really cool thing. So I'm standing in the middle of the star court section, uh, just gazing around and something pretty cool started to happen. Ooh. Oh, please. Something is happening. fun space is the arcade uh, right off the uh, Starcart Mall space and I love this super graphic of the uh, Demi Gorgon mouth done in Atari vector graphic style. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, and had some working machines in here. Uh, Dig Dug, that was kind of a favorite back in the day. Centipede, Galaga. And on this wall, I love these kind of cabinet, arcade cabinet style displays of some of the retail stuff they had. More shirts and uh, kind of hoodies. And some more stuff over here on the prizes wall. I love that really artful face in the trees. Is that supposed to be Will in the Upside Down? I'm not sure. Uh, a couple of 8-bit shirts. That's fun. And then here is this really neat space that is dressed to look like that secret Russian underground lair where they were doing all kinds of nefarious experiments. And they had this equipment in here. Uh, there's a cabinet of blinking lights and buttons on the wall. And then this device and people seem to be interacting with it as if you could set off uh, something in the room, uh, which we're gonna see a little bit of in a moment. But yeah, over here on this wall, this <laughs> display case of uh, goopy specimen cylinders, and I love these two uh, figures. Yeah, this is a kind of a spendy item, but I wanted those bad. And some more really cool shirts and figures here. And then of course this stuff, the Hellfire Club, I also had to look up again. That was the name of the uh, Hawkins High School D&D &D Club. Uh, yeah, there's a, there's a nice selection of different kinds of things. A lot of Pez. People, uh, people, I guess, are back into Pez, which is, uh, I'm fine with that. I love me some Pez. And again, I'm not sure if this is guest activated or it just kind of happens randomly, but uh, I get a little show in here too. Yeah, 
And just beyond that strange piece of technology, of course, is the chamber where they are releasing a demigorgon from the upside down. And uh, yeah, this was, uh, I think, the most popular kind of photo op inside the store. A lot of people lined up to uh, <laughs> get their picture taken with uh, one of one of the uh, more unique monster designs I've seen uh, in recent memory, uh, and certainly very scary. And then right outside that space is an area dedicated to um, kind of the Hawkins High School and a little bit of a season two there. You can see the uh, Snowball 81 dance banner. Uh, a lot of fun little details in here. I love in this cabinet of uh, the school announcement cabinet, you got the uh, Will Byers Have You Seen Me flyer. Uh, really neat. And a lot of uh, athletic related um, gear here, uh, t-shirts and hoodies and stuff from the Hawkins High School Athletic Department. That's always kind of fun. <laughs> Love the uh, Hawkins Tigers uh, graphic. And yeah, they got backpacks, they got sweatshirts, uh, again, mugs, lots of mugs. Spoiler alert, I grabbed a mug. Uh, can't have too many mugs and uh, yeah, my stash was getting kind of low. Like the two-sided design, go Tigers! And bumper stickers and socks and little uh, dog plushies. I guess, I don't know how dogs figure into the narrative there, but uh, you're into little cute dogs. Got that. And the lockers in the back here are really great. Of course, the stickers on the lockers, too fun. You got the Twisted Sister thing, love that. Uh, a couple of other fun rock-related stickers here, too, as I recall. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> got your Sex Pistol sticker. But what's great is you can hear a noise, and you open up one of the lockers, and there is one of the kids' lockers, and there's a walkie-talkie in there broadcasting some uh, message. And again, couldn't tell if it was some discernible message. Uh, very garbled, and again, a lot of noise there, but really fun Easter egg there. Uh, and then <laughs> right next door must be uh, where they keep all of Eleven's uh, favorite things, her uh, Eggo waffles and uh, chocolate pudding, snack packs. Yeah, really fun. <laughs> and then at the uh, checkout counter, nothing here for sale, but I love this little display of some uh, very 80s uh, period technology, reel-to-reel -reel tape players and uh, old CB radios and stuff. Really fun, and yeah, I love that graphic. Friends don't lie. What a great show. It is a blast. Yeah, so bravo Netflix, man. I uh, really uh, put together a fun uh, kind of retail slash immersive experience. And uh, I know it's kind of a big ad for uh, just a television show, but really talk about a way to activate retail into something much more, uh, much more memorable. And uh, I hope we see more kinds of things like this in the future with some other Netflix properties, perhaps. So here's something a lot of you probably know already, but the font used for this Stranger Things logo uh, was uh, inspired by the font used on a lot of Stephen King paperback uh, and hardcover book covers, and it is called Bangit. It was created in 1977 by a type designer named Ed Bangit, and I only know all this because I actually took a course with him once many, many years ago. Uh, gorgeous font, I love it, and it really does strike that 80s chord so well. Yeah, great. I just love the Americana trolley, so great. All right, I think that is gonna bring this one to a close. So I uh, hope you enjoyed a quick look around the Stranger Things the Los Angeles official uh, retail outpost and immersive experience, really fun. I mean, yeah, they sell merchandise in there, but that is like a little uh, little walkthrough attraction as well. Really neat. And I was very pleasantly surprised by a couple of those weird little mini shows that just sort of spontaneously happen. That was great. Yeah, so it's free to come in and uh, it's going to make a time reservation. But if you're a Stranger Things fan, definitely check this out. All right. And we will catch you in the next one. So, of course, there's really nothing I needed. But the shopping bags are pretty cool. And I love this side. That was fantastic. And there was one item I kind of couldn't go without. I'm in desperate need of mugs. So, I popped for one of these. No 
here we go. 15 bucks. I will drink from it proudly. 